What is an ATDS, or Automatic Telephone Dialing System? We hear this word being thrown around all the time lately in the context of telemarketing, debt collection, and TCPA lawsuits. Well, an ATDS is just the FCC's word for an auto dialer. Why does it matter? Because the FCC has this law, the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, or TCPA, that has all these restrictions on the use of auto dialers to call or text cell phones. For example, a telemarketer may not use an ATDS to call any cell phone, business or private, for telemarketing purposes without prior express written consent. Even for non-marketing messages, you need at least express consent to auto dial or auto text a cell phone. Well, what is an ATDS? The TCPA law itself has a very short, simple definition that really only covered systems that made use of a random or sequential number generator. But nobody really uses random or sequential number generators anymore. So, after the passing of the TCPA, the FCC created their own new definition of an auto dialer. They said that what the TCPA really meant was any system that can do random or sequential dialing or which has the capacity to dial without human intervention. Well, what did that mean? We thought that meant that if your system could dial without human intervention, meaning if you could upload a list and press go, then it was an auto dialer. But if rather the system could not dial without human intervention, but required the user to click something or type something or press something in between each call or text, that meant it was not an auto dialer. Great. Well, unfortunately, let's fast forward to July of 2015, when the FCC created an even broader definition of an auto dialer. They said on that date that what the TCPA really means by an ATDS is a system that can do random, sequential, predictive, or can otherwise dial thousands of numbers in a short period of time. Oh, and here's the kicker. An auto dialer is also a system that could be upgraded <laughs> to dial that way in the future. So now, if, you're, if your system can't auto dial now, like if it can't do predictive calling now or can't do voice broadcast now, it might still be an auto dialer if it could be quickly enabled or upgraded to have that capacity. This is a future or potential auto dialer capacity standard. This is a very silly interpretation because if you think about it, it should matter how the telemarketer placed the call. It should not matter what capacity the software code has. But unfortunately, at least for now, at least according to the FCC, any system that even has future or potential auto dialer capacity is an auto dialer now. They did say a rotary phone doesn't have auto dialer capacity, even future auto dialer capacity, thankfully. There's a debate about whether a smartphone is an auto dialer. A desk phone, they said, is likely not an auto dialer. But there's still a lot of uncertainty. One thing we know. Immediately after the FCC came out with their new definition in 2015, a combination of nine trade associations and private companies sued the FCC in Federal Circuit Court. Those appeals were all consolidated and that appeal is pending still as of the date we recorded this video. What will the courts decide an auto dialer is and will they reverse this new expansive definition? We'll see. At least for now, you need to get with your counsel Analyze your system to determine if you think the FCC would consider it an auto dialer. If the answer is yes, you need to obtain written consent before calling cell phones for marketing purposes or at least express consent for delivering non-marketing messages.